Hello, 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 everybody. So um, I am in this crazy season right now of like discovering my purpose, of um, discovering my identity with God and things like that. So I have people ask me, well, like, how do you know that you're in your season and how do you know um, that you're on the right track? It's very easy distractions so people are like distractions what do you mean distractions distractions are simply the enemy's way of trying to throw you off and what i mean by that is a lot of times things happen to us and we think oh that's bad luck or i was just in the wrong place at the wrong time no my dear the enemy has all kinds of distractions that he tries to use to throw you off track to stop you from reaching your purpose, to stop you from reaching your destiny. And it come, they come in little bitty, itty bitty ways. So if you don't have a relationship with God, a lot of times you don't even know when the enemy is attacking you. So prime example, um, I got up to go to church Sunday morning. And I don't know if anybody else here is in Texas, but I'm in Texas and it's been cold and rainy a lot lately. Winter is finally making its way through. I was headed to church, my tire, went like out of nowhere went flat and i'm like that ain't nobody but the devil so i get out i'm like nope not gonna stop my shine today so i put put onto the gas station put some touch some air in my tire then i get in the church parking lot what happens i drop my phone and busted it and i'm like all these things happening before i get to church to frustrate me and make me mad and throw me completely off of the fact that I'm coming here today probably to hear a word that I need. I don't know if y'all ever noticed it, but when you really make up your mind that you're going to get up and you're going to go to church that morning and, and it's going to be great, everything that could possibly go wrong happens on your way to church. Because there, and then, and then if you still make it there, you find out that there was a word that was needed that you needed specifically at that time. So all it is is the enemy saying, um, "I know that she's about to get to church and hear a word that's gonna give her enough strength to keep pushing, that's gonna help her walk into her destiny." And the enemy's like, "I can't have that." So I gotta find some kind of way to distract her. Also, if you are single, I will tell you right now, leave the club alone. And I'm not saying that because I'm being judgmental. I'm saying that because, baby, distractions come in every form. I know for me right now, being single, distractions are everywhere. And if you're not careful, what you'll end up doing is you will end up falling for one of those distractions. You'll end up saying, okay, um, oh, he cute. Oh, she cute. Okay, I think that... Um, I think that I want to probably try to talk to them or whatever. But see, the enemy knows what you like. He's never going to tempt you or distract you with anything that you, you know, don't want. So if the enemy knows that you want this or that, that's exactly what he's going to use to try to distract you. If the enemy knows that you like cars, he'll somehow make an opportunity for you to get this car that you want and you like, but you know you don't need. If the enemy knows that you have this need to constantly go from relationship to relationship and you finally have made up your mind that you want to be single, the enemy will bring people constantly like a revolving door. He will bring people into your spotlight, into your into your personal space that he knows will tempt you and distract you enough to say, you know what, I think I'm going to give that a try. So. All I'm saying is, is distractions come in all kind of ways. Distractions come in, in all kind of different um, varieties. You, distractions can come in money. You can. There are a million different distractions that you could experience. You can experience good and bad distractions. You have people that go through breakups and they get distracted by work. I mean, that's one of the normal... That's one of the ones you see most often. People get their heart broken and they get distracted by work. Okay, but you could be using this time while you're single to get into church and to find a ministry or something to, to pour into that at the same time will pour into you. Don't get your heart broken and think, oh, I'm going I'm to just dive into work to keep myself busy or I'm going to go find some random person to talk to or, you know, I'm going to go sleep around because it'll make me feel better. It will distract you. But it's not going to ever heal you. It's not going to take anything away. It's not going to stop you from feeling what you're feeling. What will help is if you keep yourself focused 
and you say you know what i i really want a distraction right now because i kind of don't want to deal with what i'm going through but i'm not going to i'm not going to do what i would usually do in this situation i'm not going to go um dive into work or dive into drinking or dive into those are bad distractions good distractions you could be distracted by how many degrees you're trying to get you can be distracted by going to school and trying to get a million different degrees because at the end of the day there's a deeper problem distractions can come in people they can come in money they can come in jobs they can come in education anything that's keeping your focus so tied up that you don't have any room to focus on god you don't have any energy to give over to god those are distractions and we use them we use them to get over heartbreak we use them when we're going through other problems and we don't want to face them and so um, distractions the enemy will use them to come in and steal your focus to steal your energy I, I mean the enemy will send some guy into your life that you weren't even supposed to be dealing with or some female that you weren't supposed to be dealing with and get you tied up with that person for like a month or a couple of months or some years just because you were in a spot at that time that was a threat to him just because you were in a place where you were happy and you were confident and you were strong in the Lord so he will send um, you know, a random person that you're not even supposed to be in a relationship with, but it catches your eye and it calls your name and it gets your attention and it distracts you. And then you're so caught up in that distraction that the enemy no longer has to worry about you being able to get where it is that you're going. He doesn't have to worry about you being focused enough um to be able to to go where you're going it's always when you're at your strongest that you find most of the distractions and attacks coming at you and it always always i don't care if it looks good i don't care if it sounds good i don't care if it feels good leave it alone the enemy is a master of deception and di distraction i'm single right now i'm single right now and a distraction came at me the other day in walmart and i was like hmm and then I say, you know what? No, because I'm in a good place. I'm discovering my purpose. I'm strong right now. And I know that this is my sing season of singleness. I know right now that here in this moment, I serve the kingdom more strongly than I ever have. Uh, more fiercely than I ever have as a single and it's not that I don't desire marriage It's not that I don't desire all of those things. But right now I do desire the will of God, which means that in this season, I'm at my strongest, I'm more focused, I'm at my, you know, my most driven to seek God, to serve him, to step into my purpose. And then when it benefits the kingdom more, when God is ready for me to be in a relationship and that brings him more glory, then it'll be time for me to step into that season. But I almost got sidetracked because something that I would usually want, something that I would usually go for caught my eye and even showed me attention and even introduced himself to me and even came up to me and talked to me and things like that and i was like oh okay how you and i was like mm. and i had to tell him i was like sir that is so sweet and i really appreciate it and i'm glad that you thought enough to speak to me uh, but i'm in a place right now where i'm seeking god and i'm not saying you're a bad person and i'm not saying that i'm not tempted but what i am saying is that right now you would be a distraction from that the mere fact that i would try to even have a conversation with you or go out with you would distract me emotionally it would distract me mentally spiritually it would completely take my focus off of what i'm doing for, for god and so though i appreciate it and though it is regretfully i will have to decline because anything that's going to take me out of the focus that i need to be having on god i can't do it so just and, and you get to know your distractions because if you look back at your life at every wrong turn you made it usually centered around one specific type of thing and and that's what usually gets you off track so if you're single stay away from dating right now if you if you know that you're in a place right now where you're stronger than you've ever been you're better than you've ever been with god that means that this is your season of singleness and i'm gonna tell you something that's a powerful season there are some things i've discovered about myself there are some things that i have done there are some things that I have been able to accomplish in this season as a single that I never was able to in a relationship and so I know wow God this is when you're doing your pruning this is when you you know you come through and you restore and you make us better and you prepare us to step into whatever our next season is so be careful of distractions the Bible tells us that the enemy comes to steal and to kill and destroy and that's all it is it's not it, it's not a blessing because how many of y'all know that the devil is real good at imitating God it will look like a blessing but it is a distraction and it is an attack so be careful uh, be wary of distractions be be 
sober-minded and vigil vigilant like the bible says and just watch keep a close watch out know your triggers know your weak spots and then guard them the bible says guard your heart so y'all stand strong be careful of the distractions i know it looks good but stay away okay all right y'all have a good day happy friday and have a good weekend